Hey guys, this is Aaron Tinsley here. I've spent quite a long time building out my home automation system, and while I've learned that it's nice to have a home that makes decisions for you, sometimes you have to manually intervene to get it how you really want it. So I've been searching for the perfect input device. I started with my Android phone using Google Now. Uh, I graduated to my Moto 360 with Google Now. But I think I might have found the perfect input device in the Amazon Echo. And I think it's the perfect input device because it's always listening. All you have to do is speak the trigger word and it'll wake up and obey your command. Alexa, turn the living room light on. Okay. Alexa, turn the kitchen light on. Alexa, turn the deck light on. Okay. So you can see all I have to do is speak the word and she wakes up. Alexa, turn all the lights off. Okay. And uh, the Echo has an array of microphones which makes it easy to basically speak in your normal voice and have her hear you almost anywhere in my little house. Alexa, turn the kitchen light on. Okay. Alexa, turn the deck light on. Okay. So you can see it's pretty much effortless. Alexa, turn the living room light on. There's no pausing after you say the trigger word. Uh, it's really nice. You can do more than just what I've got going here. Alexa, how tall is Mount Everest? Mount Everest's height is 29,029 feet, 8,848 meters. So it's one step closer to Jarvis and all those uh, digital artificial intelligence mm -hmm. assistants that all of us geeks want. So I'm pretty impressed with the Echo. It actually only took me about 10 minutes to set it up to control my lights, thanks to a package I found on GitHub by ARMZilla. You can find that in the, in the article here. And thank you for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, if you are having an issue getting it set up, feel free to comment and I will help you out as best I can. Thank you.